kamilifu wa mapaji yake saba kumfanya Mkristo mkamilifu na kumfanya shahidi hodari wa Yesu Kristo mpaka kufa. Kupata kipaimara kama sikiza tuni yako, tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738102 Mbili saba mbili kwa nane moja moja jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amina neema ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wa Mungu baba na ushirika wa roho mtakatifu viwe na nyote viwe na nawe Yesu Kristo
Karibuni wapendwa kwenye ibada yetu ya misa ya siku hii ya leo na katika misa hii tupenda uh, kumshukuru Mungu kwa zawadi ya uhai wetu Siku hii ni siku ambao naadhimisha kuzaliwa kwangu na ningependa tuombe wazazi wangu uh, ndugu zangu na wote ambao wamenisaidia katika safari hii ya imani. Pia katika misa hii tuweza kukumbuka wafuatao ambao pia wanasherekea siku hii ya kuzaliwa kwao. Wa kwanza ni Padri Geoffrey Simali ambaye ameweza kupata upadrisho eh, siku tatu zilizopita katika jimbo letu hili na wa pili a sister Priska Ovat MMM sisters na pia Daniel Mwaniki mkristo wetu na la mwisho mtoto um, Precious Petronila Kaguri Pasombe Mungu hatujalie siku sote afya ya mwili na usalama rohoni Ndugu zangu tujue dhambi zetu tupate kujua tayari kutoa sadaka takatifu Wewe uliyetuma kwa ponya wanao juu dhambi zao Bwana utuhurumie Bwana utuhurumie Wewe uliyekuja kwa ito wa kosefu Kristo utuhurumie wewe unayeketi kuume kwa Mungu Baba kituombea Bwana utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumie, atusamehe dhambi zetu, atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Tuombe. E Mungu Mwenyezi wa milele Utuelekeze kwenye furaha za mbinguni kusudi sisi kondoo wako wanyonge tufike huko aliko mchungaji wetu shujaa tunaomba hayo kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele amen Somo la kwanza Somo katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume Siku zile mitume na ndugu wa Yudea walisikia ya kuwa watu wa mataifa pia wamelipokea neno la Mungu Petro akafika Yerusalemu Wayahudi walipokea imani walibishana naye wakisema Uliingia nyumbani ya watu wasio tahiriwa ukala nao. Petro akaanza kueleza mambo kinaganaga akisema, "Nilikuwa mjini Yafa katika kusali nilipochukuliwa na roho na kuona yani kitu kama kitambaa kikubwa" kikishikashikwa katika pembe zake nne na kuteremshwa kutoka mbinguni mpaka kwangu nilipochungulia niliona wanyama na inchi kavu wenye miguu minne pamoja na wanyama wenye kitambaa na ndege wa angani nikasikia sauti ikiimba haya petro chinja ukale lakini nikasema la hapana bwana kwa maisha yangu yote kwa maisha yangu yote haramu au kichafu hakijaingia 
kinywani mwangu lakini sauti ilitoka mbinguni mara ya pili ikajibu alivyotakasa Mungu wewe usivikatae kama haramu hayo yalitokea mara tatu kisha vyote vikavutwa tena juu mbinguni papo hapo watu watatu walisimama mbele ya nyumba nilimokaa waliokuwa wametumwa kwangu kutoka Kaisaria roho akaniambia nifuateni nao nisione shaka pia ndugu hawa sita walifuatana nami tukaingia katika nyumba ya mtu yule naye akatusimulia jinsi alivyoona malaika akisimama nyumbani mwake na kumwimbia tuma watu yafa ukawaite simioni aitwe petro naye akaimbia maneno yaliyo kwa wako wewe na nyumba yako yote nilipoanza kusema roho mtakatifu alishuka kama alivyoshukia sisi mwanzoni nikakumbuka nika neno la bwana ndile yohana alibatiza kwa maji lakini nyinyi mtabatizwa kwa roho mtakatifu basi kama Mungu amewapa wao kipaji kile kile alichotupa sisi tulimwamini Bwana Yesu Kristu mimi nami niweze kumpinga Mungu waliposikia hayo walitulia wakamtukuza Mungu wakisema kumbe Mungu amewajalia watu wa mataifa wagofu uletao uzima neno la bwana zaburi ya kuitikizana roho inakuonea kiu e mungu uliye hai roho inakuonea kiu e mungu uliye hai roho inakuonea kiu e mungu uliye hai kama ayala atamanivyo mito ya maji ndivyo roho yangu inavyotamani wewe e Mungu roho yangu inamwonea kiu Mungu Mungu aliye hai lini nitakuja kuona uso wa Mungu roho yangu inakuonea kiu e Mungu uliye hai ulete mwanga wako na uaminifu wako navyo vitaniongoza vitanipeleka kwenye mlima wako mtakatifu na kwenye makao yako roho yangu inakuonea kiu e Mungu uliye hai nitakwenda altarini kwa Mungu kwa Mungu aliyefuraha na shango yangu nitakusifu kwa kupiga kinubi E Mungu Mungu wangu roho yangu inakuonea kiu Mungu uliye hai roho yangu inakuonea kiu e Mungu uliye hai shangilio la injili Aleluya. sema bwana na wajua walio wangu na walio wangu wanijua mimi haleluya 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 haleluya
Bwana awe nanyi. Awe pia nawe. Somo katika injili lilivyoandikwa na Yohane. Wakati ule Yesu aliwaambia Amin amin nawaambieni asiyeingia zizi la kondoo kupitia mlangoni bali aingia kwa kuwe, kwa kuwekea kipi kwa kukwea kipingineko ni mwizi na mnyang'anyi lakini aingiaye kupitia mlangoni ni mchungaji wa kondoo Mngoja mlango humfungulia mlango na kondoo husikiliza sauti yake naye mwenyewe huaita kondoo wake kwa majina akawapeleka nje baada ya kuwapeleka nje hao kondoo wake anawatangulia na kondoo wanamfuata kwa maana wanajua sauti yake hawamfuati mgeni bali wanamkimbia kwa maana hawaijui sauti ya mgeni Yesu aliwaambia fumbo hili lakini hawakuelewa maana ya maneno yake basi akawaambia tena Amin amin nawaambieni mimi ni mlango wa zizi la kondoo wowote waliokuja kabla yangu ni wezi na wanyang'anyi lakini kondoo walikataa kuwasikiliza mimi ndiyo mlango aingiaye kwa kupitia mimi atakuwa salama na ataingia na kutoka na kukuta malisho mwizi huja aibe na kuchinja na kuangamiza mimi nimekuja ili wawe na uzima tena wawe nao tele kwa wokovu wetu hilo ndilo neno la Bwana Tumsifu Yesu Kristo basi na wakaribisha Hatuwezi kutafakari kwa pamoja neno la Mungu ambalo tumesikia siku hii na kuendelea pia kusherekea hapa saka takatifu na kuendelea kusherekea ukombozi wetu na ushindi wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Ningependa tuweze kufahamu ya kwamba wana wa Israeli waliweza ama wali kuwa na wazo hili la kwamba Mungu atawaokoa pekee taifa lile la Israeli kwa sababu wakati ule Mungu alipofanya agano na hawa na kuendelea kufanya maagano na wao ni kama walikuwa na majivuno teli ya kwamba Mungu pekee atawaletea ushindi Mungu pekee ataendelea uh, kuwajalia ufanisi na ustawi katika maisha ni mwao hivi basi kwa kosa kutambua ya kwamba Mungu ni Mungu wa kila mtu kwamba Mungu analeta baraka kwa, kwa, kwa kila mtu analeta ushindi kwa kila mtu. Ni basi tunaona uh, jambo hili uh, katika somo letu la kwanza likiendelea ya kwamba baada ya wale wanafunzi kuendelea kuhubiri na watu wengi kupata uokovu ikaonekana ya kwamba hawa wanaenda katika familia fulani familia za wale ambao hawakuomeza kutahiriwa maana yake familia za wayunani wale ambao wana wa Israeli walifikiria kwamba wako mbali na Mungu hivi basi kuna wengine wakanungunika kwa nini Petro 
anaonekana katika familia zile kwa nini petro anaonekana na watu fulani hivi basi akawaambia katika vile tulivyo tumesikia katika somo letu la kwanza vile alipata maono na katika maono eh, hii ya kwamba wote wanaalikwa kutembea kwa pamoja ya kwamba wote tunaalikwa tuishi kwa pamoja tuweze kuwa na ushirikiano wa karibu kwa pamoja na vile vile akaweza kuwaeleza vile roho mtakatifu aliweza kuwashukia wao na hivi basi anauliza kama basi roho mtakatifu aliweza kuwashukia wao vile walivyo alivyo washukia hapo mwanzo au hao e, mitume e, kwa pamoja basi akoseme ya kwamba kumbe hakuna tofauti sababu tulipata roho na wale pia wakapata roho mtakatifu hivi basi wapendwa jambo hili lina tufunza sisi zote na kutuonya sisi zote ambao mara nyingi tunajiuliza kwa nini wale wamefanikiwa kwa nini wale wanaendelea na sisi kwa nini wale wanapata ushindi na sisi Watujumbe huu unatukumbusha ya kwamba Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa kila mtu. Ushida ambao hanaleta ni ya kila mtu. Wokovu ambao tumepata ni ya kila mtu. Si kama wale wa Israeli ambao walikuwa nafikiria kwamba Mesia ni wao. Yule kuwa kushindania na kuweza uh, kuleta labda ufanisi kwa vita na mambo kama haya atakuwa tu ni Myahudi na kwa ajili ya Wayahudi wote. Basi wapendo wa Mungu tunapoendelea kuishi na kusherekea Pasaka ujumbe huu uwe ni ujumbe wa wetu sisi zote. Ya kwamba tumealikwa na tumeitwa zote kumshuhudia Kristu na kufanya kazi eh, kwa pamoja. Hivi basi ingefaa hili kama tulivyoambiwa siku hile ya Pasaka kwamba ni mwamko uh, mpya kwa kila mmoja ya kwamba tumepata uhai mpya ili kwamba tusije tukapatikana miongoni mwetu kuna tofauti za kikabila tofauti za tabaka katika maisha ni mwetu tofauti za rangi tofauti ya, za dini na mambo kama hayo katika kufanya mambo haya kwa pamoja tunaendelea basi kumtukuza huyu Mungu wetu anaishi daima tunaendelea pia kufuata maagizo yale Kristu aliyatuambia na kuambia wanafunzi wake wakati ule kwamba ingefaa zote tuwe kitu kimoja vile vile Kristo anatukumbusha kwamba halikuja ili zote tupate uhai na uhai tele Kristo pia ametuambia kwamba yeye ndiye uhai yeye ndiye njia yeye ndiye ukweli na akatukumbusha siku ya leo ya kwamba hakuna vile tunafikiria kuhusu kwenda mbinguni isipokuwa kumtambua yeye kwanza kwa njia ya ubatizo kwa njia ya kuishi maisha mema kwa njia ya kutia bidii katika imani basi wote tunatuwa kwamba tunaishi sasa kwa sababu ya maisha inayokuja Tunajua kwamba baada ya maisha ya hapa duniani kuna maisha yasiyo na mwisho. Maisha ya baadaye maisha ya kifo. Tunaalikwa sisi zote tuweze kuhifadhi maisha wote. 
tunaalikwa tuweze kupenda maisha kupenda zawadi hii ambao Mungu alitujalia zawadi ya uhai basi baada ya maisha haya vile nimeshataja ni kwamba kuna maisha ya baadaye maisha ambayo Kristo anasema nimewaletea maisha eteli basi tuombe Mungu hili siku zote tuweze ama ama siku zote atupe neema atupe eh, pia nguvu katika safari hii ili hata nasi baada ya, baada ya maisha ya hapa tupate maisha ya mbinguni tupate maisha yenye raha yasiyo na mwisho basi la mwisho nimesema naomba tuweze um, mwezo kutukumbuka sisi ambao tunasherekea leo siku yetu ya kuzaliwa nimeshataja ama uh, padre wetu uh, simali sister priska dan maniki mtoto precious kaguri na pia uh, lilian twili na najua kuna wengi nimeweza kuwajua hawa kwa sababu pia eh uh, kuna wale ambao wameniomba tuweze kuwakumbuka eh, katika misa hii basi tuweze uh, mweze kutuombea kwa Mungu tujaliwe pia afya nzuri na baraka tele na ushinde katika kazi zetu za kila siku tumsive Yesu Kristo Salini ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yeye nikubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana pokea sadaka mikononi mwako kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake na pia kwa mabaya ya sisi na mabaya ya kanisa lake lote takatifu. E Bwana tunakuomba tujalie kufurahi 
tufurahishwe daima na mafumbo haya ya Pasca ili kazi ya siku zote za ukombozi wetu ituletee furaha ya milele tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu Amina Bwana awe nanyi awe pia nawe nilieni mioyo tumeinua kwa Bwana tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu nimeema na haki kweli ni vema na haki tukutukuze kila wakati Bwana lakini hasa wakati huu kwa shangwe kubwa zaidi kwa kuwa Kristu Pasca wetu umetolewa sadaka yeye alipotoa mwili wake kuwa sadaka alikamilisha kafara za zamani kwa sadaka ya kweli msalabani naye alipojitoa kwako kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu yeye mwenyewe hanajifanya kuwa kuhani altare na mwana kondoo na kwa sababu hiyo watu wote wanaitukuza siku kuu ya Pasca kwa furaha kubwa popote duniani na malaika wote wa mbinguni wanaimba wimbo wa kukutukuza wakisema bila mwisho mtakatifu 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 bwana mungu wa majeshi ningo na dunia zimejaa utukufu wako hosana leo mbinguni barikiwa naye kocha kwa jina la bwana hosana leo mbinguni e bwana kweli huyu mtakatifu na chemchemi ya utakatifu wote Tunakusihi ustakazo kwa nguvu ya roho yako dhabihu hizi ili ziwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye alipojitoa kwa heri yake ya Yesu alitoa mkati, akaushukuru akaumega, akawapa wafuasi wake akisema, "Tuaeni mle wote, huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu." Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula katua kikombe akashukuru tena akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Tuaheni mnyo wote hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano zipya la milele itakayomwaiga kwa ajili yenu kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi Hili ni fumbo la imani. Kristo alikufa, Kristo alifufuka, Kristo atakuja tena. Kwa hiyo e Bwana tunapokumbuka kufa na fuga kwake mwanao, tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na kikombe cha wokovu. Tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umetujalia tusimama mbele yako na kukutumikia. Tunakuomba kwa unyenyekevu, Roho Mtakatifu atufanye tuwe jamaa moja. Sisi tunao shiriki mwili na damu ya Kristu. Ewe Bwana, ulikumbuke kanisa lako popote duniani na utukamilishe katika upendo. Sisi pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Dominic Kimengich na watumishi wako wote. Wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko. Wakumbuke na marehemu wote wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako. Tunakuomba utuhurumie sisi sote ili tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kukusifu na kukutukuza pamoja na Maria bikira mwenye heri, mama wa Mungu na mama yetu na mtakatifu Yosefu mumewe, mitume wenye heri na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale. Tunakuomba hayo kwa njia mwanao Yesu Kristo. Kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapara heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele amen Na sasa tusali kwa imani ile sala iliyotufundisha Bwana wetu Baba yetu ulie mbinguni na lako litukuzwe falme wako ufike Takara lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni. Tupe leo mkato wetu wa kila siku. Tusamee makosa yetu kama tunavyosamea na sisi walio tukosea. Usitutie katika kisha uishi lakini tuwapoe maovu.
e bwana tunakuomba utupoe katika maovu yote urijalie kwa hema amani maishani yetu utuepushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako tusivadhaishwe na jambo lolote tungoje kwa matumaini kuruli kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele e bwana Yesu Kristo aliwaambia mitume wako na watie na amani na wapende amani yangu Ujizame dhambi zetu la imani kanisa lako Ulijele amana umoja kama ilivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala daima na milele Amen. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi Kwa furaha kutakiane amani kondoa Mungu ndoa ya dhambi za dunia heri yao ni alipo kwenye karamu ya Bwana e Bwana sisaeni ingie kwangu lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itoke binadamu ya Kristo vitulio ndio pato uzima wa milele
Ukisafiri na na kuafikisha kwenye uzima wa milele Tunakushukuru kwa baraka sote ambazo Umetuminia sisi familia yako ya chimbo la elore Tukiwa chimbo ambalo limeweka wako Kwa moyo mtakatifu wa yesu Tunakuamba ufanya ufia imani yetu na hati ya kumbwata yesu Wana na mkobosu wetu Utusaidie tuisi upa upenda wako mkuu na ulinzi wako. Jaza mioyo na akili zetu hamu ya kukupenda na kukutumikia wewe na jirani zetu kwa furaha. Tunaomba Roho Mtakatifu atuimarishe tunapoadhimisha jiwa ya jimbo letu ili tuyatambue mapenzi yako na mahitaji ya jimbo. Tunaomba kushiriki kwetu kikamilifu katika sinodi hii kutujie nguvu ya imani ili tuwe wa moja kiroho na katika fikra tunaongeza na fikira Maria mwenye heri malkia wa amani tuongoze kufika kwa Kristo Yesu mwanao mbendwa tunaomba haya kwa njia Kristo mwana wetu amina baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike Utakalo ulifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamee makosa yetu kama tunavyosamea na sisi walio tukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini tuokoe maokuni salamu maria umeja neema wana yunawe umefarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na yesu msawa tumbo lako umefarikiwa Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu utuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa kubwa kwetu atukuswe baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu kama mwanzo na sasa na siku zote na milele amina moyo mtakatifu wa Yesu utukurumie tuombe E, mchungaji mwema utudazame kwa mapendo sisi kundi lako upende kutuweka katika malisho ya milele sisi kondoo wako ulio tukomboa kwa damu takatifu ya mwanao tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu amen ambao um, tukaiti kidogo Tumsifi Yesu Kristo. Daima na milele. Daima na milele. 
basi ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kusema asante kwa Mungu ambaye ametujalia uhai siku ya leo na ametuleta hapa salama asante kwenu kwa kuja na kwa kushiriki kamilifu katika ibada hii takatifu ya misa asante pia kwa maombi yenu na tuendelee kuomba hili niweze uh, kutuombea hata zaidi tusaidiane katika safari hii ya imani kwa njia ya kipekee ningependa uh, kuwashukuru hawa wana uh, kapuchin kuongoza na mapadri wao hapa tuko na uh, padri wa weru namba tumpie makofi na pia tuko na padri Vincent wa tumpigie makofi wakati hule walipokuwa hapa uh, siku ile ya pasaka wa Kristo uliweza kufurahia sana uh, kazi hii ya kuhubiri njili uh, kupitia kwa mtandao na wa Kristo akasema kwamba na warudi tena naomba warudi tena na pia tukaweza kuomba Mungu hili siku moja pia waweze kurudi atuendelee kujumuika pamoja na vile tuliweza kuandika kwamba mrudi hapa tena wakakuja baada ya pia siku chache tu apige makofi Padri wa wenu tunafuraha sana ya kwamba hata sisi e, tume faidika e, kutokana na television hii ya Kapuchin na hivi basi ndio kuombea nini Mungu aendelee kuwajalia ustawi na ufanisi e, siku zote naomba tena murudi siku nyingine na nyingine tena na tena e, tuweze kujumuika kwa pamoja hivi basi ningependa kumalika padri aweze kutusalimia na pia tupe uh, maneno hapa hapa na pale kama kuna ujumbe aweze kutupatia kisha tuweze kutamatisha ibada ya misa karibu Wa Kristo wapenzi Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu huyo ambaye ametuwezesha kwa tembeleeni kwa mara ya pili katika mwezi huu huu wa nne na mahali ambapo unarudi mara ya pili ama mara ya tatu inaonyesha upendo tumekaribishwa na tukafurahia Tunashukuruni sana kuanzia kwa mheshimiwa askofu Dominic, mapadre, watawa na waumini kwa ukarimu huo wenu na upendo wenu. Na basi kama kuna mwaliko mwingine, baba paroko tutaupokea. Na kwa niaba ya Kabuchin TV, tungependa kukutakia wewe na kukupongeza katika siku yako ya kuzaliwa. Heri, baraka na neema endelee kufanyia Mwenyezi Mungu kazi katika eneo hii na popote pale ambapo Mwenyezi Mungu atakutuma. Kwa niaba ya wenzangu waliopo hapa, walio nje na walio katika studio Nairobi, tunawashukuruni sana kwa mara nyingine na kuomba muendelee kusaidia hivi vyombo vya uinjilishaji vya Kikatoliki. Vinategemea kwa kiasi kikubwa sana msaada wa wasikilizaji na watazamaji. Hakuna mwingine ambaye atatoka Ulaya, atatoka kwingineko kule kuja kutujengea manyumba, kuja kutujengea makanisa, kuja kushikilia kazi za Mwenyezi Mungu. Kapuchin TV inashikiliwa na inaendeshwa na msaada wa watu wa mapenzi mema kama wewe. Kile kidogo ambacho unaweza kujinyima, usaidie ujumbe huu wa habari njema wafikie watu wengi nchini Kenya na kwingineko. Tunaukaribisha kupitia kwa paybill namba yetu 510 678 Caps TV. Ni katika haya madogo madogo ambayo kama anasema waswahili haba na haba hujaza kibaba. Kuna mwaka wetu wa nne hewani na tunaendelea 
kwa shukuru wale ambao wanatuwezesha kufikisha huu ujumbe kwa wengine kama tunavyojua yale maeneo katika nchi yetu ya Nairobi ya maeneo ya Kajiado na Kuru na Machakos wakristo wenzetu hawezi kuhudhuria ibada ya misa wapate wapi kwingineko basi kama kuna Upendo FM kama kuna Capuchin TV ambayo inaweza kufikisha huo ujumbe wa habari njema basi tunawasihi kwa upendo na uvumilivu mweza kutusaidia katika hali hiyo ya uendeshaji wa kazi ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Basi tunarudi leo katika Nairobi, maeneo yetu yale ya kazi, tukiwaahidia kwamba katika upendo ule basi tutaendelea kushirikiana nanyi katika matukio ya kujenga imani katika jimbo lenu hili na kwingineko. Basi Mungu awabariki awalinde familia zenu, kazi zenu na huduma zenu. Huyo Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Mungu awabariki na kuwalinda. Asanteni sana. Tunaomba tusimame kwa baraka. Bwana awe nani? Awe pia nawe. Mabariki Mungu mwenyezi, Baba, Mwana, Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Ndina amani kwa kumtumikia Mungu ibada ya misa imekamilika. Haleluya, haleluya. Mshukuru Mungu, haleluya, haleluya. Mwana siku nzima. kwenda kanisani bado ni muhimu lakini ujumbe wa Mungu unapaswa tutumie vyombo vingi viwezekanavyo ili tupate kuwafikia watu wengi kwa sababu mara nyingi kuna watu ambao hawezi hata kwenda kanisani lakini kama wana nafasi ya kusikiliza misa na kusherekea misa wakiwa nyumbani kwa sababu hawajiwezi inapasa tuwapatie hiyo nafasi ningetaka kuhimiza wakristo wetu ambao hawajawahi kujiunga na Kapuchin TV ya kwamba Eh, Kapuchi TV ni television ya kanisa television yetu ambayo tuna nafasi ya kusikiliza neno la Mungu kushiriki sakramenti na vile vile kufundisha mengi sasa utakundua ya kwamba ma television zingine mara nyingi iko na vipindi nyingi ambayo uh, ifundishi watu mambo ya morality 
ukiona nyingi hata mimi nakumbuka mama yangu alipokuwa angali hai alifariki mwaka uliopita kuna tv zingine alikuwa akifungua anaambia watoto simeni hiyo hivi labda ile film zenye iko hivi lakini kabuji tv ni tv ambayo inafanya kila mtu kujisikia nyumbani tuendelee kuomba kila siku na kwa imani na watoto wetu wanapoendelea kuwa pamoja nasi nyumbani wazazi tuwajibike vizuri kuendelea kuwaelekeza kuwashauri na wapate kuepukana na maovu ya aina yoyote yale wawe salama ari watakaporejea katika masomo yao kwa hivyo tungependa kutoa mwito wa pekee wa Kristo wetu na watu wenye nia njema tuunge runinga zetu za kikatoliki mkono tusaidie katika kuzikuza ili tuzijenge zipate kusaidia katika kuinjilisha nipende tu kutoa wasihi wa Kristo wenzangu kwamba tuendelee kuchangia kwa namna ya pekee e, runinga hii ya Captain TV tunafahamu kwamba ndio ya pekee katika nchi yetu ya Kenya ambayo inaendeshwa na kanisa letu katoliki kwa basi popote pale mlipo unaweza kuchanga kwa mchango wako Mpesa ni rahisi zaidi siku hizi na Mpesa tunaipata kwa uraisi. kwa hivyo unaweza kuchanga mchango wako kwa njia ya Mpesa unatazama Kakuchin TV huduma katoliki ya uinjilizishaji St Mary's Girls School Runda is a center of academic excellence where future women leaders are formed. That is becoming an engineer in the country. I experienced a lot in this school since the time I came. We are located along Kiambu Road next to the Northern Bypass. Kwa jina naitwa Elena Filipo. Nimetoka Tanzania. Nimeanza kuja katika shule ya Takatifu Maria ambayo iko Runda. This school was started by the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi. Back in the year 2010, we are endowed with quality learning and boarding facilities which make our students excel. Uh, we've ensured that our institution has quality facilities, a good library, well-equipped laboratories, computer laboratory. Our classes are well furnished. In accordance with our motto, uh, our school motto is do whatever Jesus tells you derived from the gospel passage of John chapter 2 verse 5 we teach our students how to learn obey and be responsible in our school we train our students to do the right thing with minimal supervision pia katika dini my sister wameweza kutuekea muda wa misa kila jioni ya jumanne na kila asubuhi ya jumapili inaweza kutukuza kiroho na kujua kwamba tunahitaji Mungu katika maisha yetu na katika masomo yetu The health of our students is of paramount concern at all times In addition we encourage our girls to discover and build up their talents Our school fees are competitively affordable I'm Rosalind Subas Computer Studies teacher in St Mary's Girls Runda St Mary's has been uh, not only my place of work but it is a home away from home This is a place where the girls not only do we guide them academically but also spiritually, morally and mentally. For ideal and holistic formation of your daughter, choose St Mary School Runda, a center of academic excellence where responsible future leaders are nurtured. And we achieve this through uh, our mission which is teaming up with Christ in holistic formation of the girl child for her empowerment for more information contact us on 0721201420 or 0104201420 email us on stmarysgirlsrunda@gmail.com visit our website www.stmarysgirlsrunda.sc.ke
The Assumption Sisters of Eldrate is a Roman Catholic diocesan congregation which was started on the 25th of March 1962 by the late Bishop Joseph Brendan Hulihan, the then Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Eldoret. These Assumption Sisters of Eldoret are currently mobilizing resources to construct a home for the elderly sisters in Kenya. We are lucky that God is still blessing us. As we grow, we are also growing old. We are hoping to build a house for the aged sisters after realizing that 50 of them are above 60 years. Therefore, we need to have a home for them. Therefore, I am appealing to people of good will to kindly contribute to us as we come up with a home for the aged because it might cost us more than 50 million. Be part of this great project by sending your donation to the Assumption Sisters of Eldred through pay bill number 522-522, account number 115-009-3463. We believe and we trust that Kenyans are very good in giving they have good heart, they have big heart. We are kindly requesting you that you may help us. Are you in need of a competitive, personal, business or institutional insurance cover? Look no further. Purchase Insurance has got you covered for both individual and group contingencies. I am a happy client of Purchase Insurance Company for over a period of seven years. Purchase Insurance offered us a lasting solution to our medical issues and medical problems. With Purchase Insurance, you do not need to search elsewhere. We have competitively comprehensive insurance products that meet every personal, business and institutional needs. We have plans that address the corporate organizations and groups targeting the religious groups and other registered groups. We also have plans for the retail market which covers families or individuals. Uh, for general covers we have classified them into two different lines. We have the personal lines and the corporate lines. We are uh, uh, owned by the Catholic Church 100% and uh, this brings the uniqueness in us in that any profits, any proceedings we make through the operations we run as a company, are plowed back to the church to help with the different projects the church has. I would recommend purchase to any other person who is looking for these services. We have a direct lines we call, people who are available for us 24-7. And so it doesn't matter the time, the day, the hour we are, we are met, or rather our expectations are met. Visit our head office at Pachi Center, located along Wayakiwe in Westlands, for details about our products. Or contact us on 0730-677-000 or 0720-113-122. Send us an email on info at patchiskenya.com. Our health, our wealth and our reputation are protected and we have a lot of peace and comfort to know that we are covered wherever we are. Patches is a Latin word that stands for peace. For comfort and peace in life. Choose Apache's Insurance Company. We protect your health, wealth and reputation for comfort and peace to society. Consolata Institute of Philosophy was founded in 1970. We have 50 years experience in teaching philosophical and religious studies, international and local languages. We take pride in our diverse students' body, which consists of lay people and those from 25 religious congregations from Africa and beyond. We have the only pure philosophy library in Kenya, with over 25,000 volumes and a well-equipped e-library accessible from our campus. Consolata Language Center, CLC, a department of CIP, has successfully trained students for the last 11 years since its conception by the Consolata missionaries. The center offers all international and local languages, which include English, French, Kiswahili, German, Italian, Spanish, 
Chinese, Portuguese, and Arabic. Moreover, we offer theological and Christian-oriented languages, which include Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. For those who have it as a requirement for their further studies in the respective areas of specialization, other services offered at the center include interpretation, translation, editing, proofreading, and transcription. We offer well-elaborated certificate courses in interpretation, translation, and basic ICT training for those who may want to keep abreast with a rapidly digitalized world. For more details on admissions, applications, online chat and responses, visit our website on www.consolatainstituteofphilosophy.com and www.consolatalanguagecenter.co.ke. We provide hostels for gents and ladies, both religious and lay people. We offer services for conferences and seminars. Our multi-purpose hall has a capacity of 800 seats. We also have an amphitheater whose capacity is 300 to 400 persons. Consolata Institute of Philosophy is located 500 meters into Seminary Road, off Magadi Road, on your way to Ongata Rongai from Nairobi. Our philosophy and religious studies intakes are every August, while that of the languages is continuous and flexible to respond to the client's needs and availability. The academic calendars are also available on our websites. For inquiries, compliments, feedback and reservations, contact us on 020-440-4098 or 0719-3288. 48 or 0725-726-054. At Consolata Institute of Philosophy, we offer the best of education at the demand of the contemporary world. Join us today for refined services. St. Brana Technical Institute is a church uh, initiated institution founded by Assumption Sisters of Eldoret and it started in the year 2000. I'm Sister Sharon Sakwa, a product of St. Brendan Technical Institute in Eldoret. For your bright future, join us. Why study with St. Brendan? We have qualified lecturers who have studied this course and they can be able to impart, they have the ability to impart the technical skills, the theoretical part to our learners. We do business management. We also have beauty and cosmetic courses. We also have short courses which take us three weeks for our mothers, our fathers, and all those people who would like to come to this school, you are most welcome. We also offer catering and accommodation, both diploma and certificate. The long courses, some take two years, the certificate, and we also offer diploma three years. A lot of them are neck exams. We also have enough practical lessons. Another uniqueness in our college we offer accommodation for the ladies and for the men, they just stay around within the school. And this has helped the student to be able to concentrate on their studies. Then we also have a very conducive environment when you check at our location. We are located further away from the town and that can give our students a very conducive environment for studying without any interference. Most of our students, wherever they go for attachment, they are also employed there later. We take our students to hotels for attachments. Here at St. Brendan, we nurture the talents of our youth, our young individuals, especially in the theater and creative industry. 
you can reach us through the following line 0722 424 660 or you can reach our principal through 0724 118 783 you can also reach our marketing officer through 0721 200 759 you can also send us an email St. Brendan TTI at gmail.com. God is our refuge and our strength. I therefore welcome you to St. Brendan TTI, the home of excellence. <laughs>